Hey guys! If you don't know me, uh, my name is Bia, I'm an illustrator from Portugal and I am packing for my next market. Hi! I hope you can see me. This is a very wide shot. Uh, this is my bedroom, which is never really seen because it's a mess. We are going to ignore everything here. I don't have a lot of experience packing yet. This is going to be my seventh con and I'm going to one in Porto. So that requires a bit more preparation because I won't be coming back home in case I sell out of anything. So I'm going to share with you kind of what I like to pack. Yes. This is my suitcase. I bought it quite recently. I've only had it for a few cons and it's still kind of still done from my last con. So I do still have a few things inside it. So starting with this side pocket right here, which I still kind of have stuff. I have my table, like my cloth table thingy, my cubicles, which I think I'm going to be taking a few more just because I kind of want to try a different setup so I think I'm going to take four more and see how that goes this is not super heavy and I've I've only used them for one con yet but I do enjoy them um, the thingies that connect the thingies this little plate is quite cute I put my washings in there and then inside this pouch I have a bunch of stuff from little baggies to lights to the rest of my pens and then hand sanitizer to put on the table. It's quite helpful to have that. On this side still for still unpacked, I have my business card holder. I have this whenever I run out of business cards. I just put this on the table and say, I don't longer have business cards, but here are all my links. This is cute little lace doilies I use to decorate the table my paper bags that I use to pack orders, give bags to people if they want them. This is my pin holder. <laughs> you do what you can. And then I do have these like frames from Ikea. These are pretty useful. I end up putting my sticker sheets in here. And so I also have my stickers in this one. This one has my sun catchers. This one has sticker sheets. I end up taking a bunch with me because they are quite helpful and I do enjoy how they display, like this one has all my stamp stickers and that's what was in here and then here on this side we have my notepads, I still have to see how many I have here and maybe fill out more. This has some little grooves in here which fits my notepads perfectly and then here we have my handmade pens. I did a while and I'm still trying to sell. In the bed I have a bunch of stuff. I have these baskets. So these are with my new tote bags, uh, my new pouches. I did them in lino, so I'm quite pleased with them. I think they turned out pretty cute. I only have two left of my older designs. So this is my older design, which was done with vinyl. And I decided that vinyl was just not very friendly. <laughs> To the environment so i just decided to quit that and then my newest totes which i also did with lino and i'm quite happy with them maybe a little close up here quite happy with that and i decided to also do them in black please to also have black tote bags i'm leaving tomorrow but i still need to pack my clothes and yeah that's also going to take not as much time but still a little bit of time so i do want to get it out of the way then i have my washies here this is new they usually are in the black that pouch but i'm taking this little crate this is my print folder this guy here it has cute decorations these are mostly stickers i either traded with my friends during the cons and it's quite full i had to <laughs> move over some parts I only have like small prints, so this fits perfectly. This one is my sticker one, this one guy. These are both stickers from the market, like organizer. Uh, they're adorable and I love collecting these. And these are all my stickers. My big folder, this guy. This holds all my like presentation prints, like the ones that are being held up and also 
The other prints I did not have space, plus my tarot cards. These are my tarot cards. I have only have the star so far, but I did do a little project of inspired card designs and I only have a few left. So these are a project that's quite old and I have a video on how I made all of these. I'm hoping to make a set in the future, but yeah. So that's kind of what I take. I do have then my cons pouch, which just has like tape, sharpies, everything else that you might need. I try to bring with me. I like to be that kind of person that someone says, does anyone have a scissor? I'm like, here. I like to be that kind of person. So don't know why. I do have some cute pens here. Two are from a dear friend, Jantar Romantic. This is called Unshiku. And that's kind of, oh, I also will be taking t-shirts. Uh, these are my last four t-shirts um, that I have. I still have one that's blank, so I'm going to be taking four because I'll be going for two days. Okay, uh, something that's also I just now got. This is like a little waste pouch. I used to keep my money in this little praying pen. It still has all my change, but uh, it wasn't being quite safe. So I just got this the other day when I went to a shop with my friend. And yeah, I'm hoping to just keep the money here safe with me. I've always liked sharing tables with friends and people that I really trusted. So I was totally fine just going to the bathroom and say, hey, check out my money and I would feel totally safe. But now I'm actually starting to do the stands on my own because I have quite a lot of stuff that I <laughs> end up taking a lot of the space. I think that is pretty much just like the gist of thing I have to take. Oh, as well, business cards. Uh, they're here in my bed somewhere. I dump everything and now I don't know where they are. <laughs> they're here somewhere. So that's kind of it. Oh, this is also the box that usually has all my things when I'm not using them. So here are the rest of the like modular cubes thing, which I will be packing some more. Another very important thing I like to take with me in this cute little like, I think this was for screws. I have magnets, clips, everything else, all to allow me to place it. All the prints and everything else that I need. I also got this adorable little fluffy thing to decorate the table. Let's see how that looks. I actually have not used that yet. And then I have a second one of these, which I used to use for another pens, but then I sold most of them. Maybe I'll bring it. Maybe I don't. It's not that big, so it does not take that much of a space. And that's pretty much it when I'm not in con seasons. I try to fit everything here, at least that I can. It's getting quite crowded. Kind of the gist of it, of what I have to bring. Now comes the challenge of fitting everything nicely. That's the trick. I do have to carry this with me all around to Porto. In no means away an expert on what to take. People, different people take different things. I just thought this would be a very nice and fun, like what does a like small artist brings to a little stand. It's not a huge, huge con. It's run by artists, so it's also really nice about that. It's a very familiar like envir environment, so I feel quite safe going. This is also where I have all my other totes. I will be bringing the rest of my older designs. You enjoyed this video is kind of a random rambly one. This is only my seventh market. I have not been ever to a con like Comic Con, Iberani, which is another one here in Portugal. I've never been to one of those. I am waiting to know if I've been accepted to Iberani this year. Quite excited and I might also try to go to Comic Con this year. Let's see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of a bit random video, but I thought it would be a fun idea and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave you with the time lapse, so if you want to see the bag all packed and nice, please do carry on watching. Please subscribe, I try my best to upload a video every single week. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know if you have any tips or are you curious about anything that... just like anything from the artist alley that I could help. Like I said, I am not an expert, so there are things I might not know. I'm sure there are things I don't know. Enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!
name. 